I've an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline. Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. I don't think that's gonna be our ships. I'm a little worried. That shouldn't have been normal. And remember how that guy at the start of the game said he was gonna attack Nassau next? We demand a parlay. Well, I'll be hanged. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily-livered punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fair escape than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Horngold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. No cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your men. Rackham, Vane, the governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. <laughs> oh, he'll be doing stuff all right. Let's have a little fun. Fan out, lads, and take this shanty town as if it were your own. Damn it, I can't. The king has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? And has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about his majesty, governor. You're here at his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. Dispatch! 
The lot of you. Make way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move! Go! Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating <laughs> weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Quaddle, Governor! We should think every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore! I am the goddamn governor! Aye, sir. Oh, I can't attack them. Clear as crystal. I guess me stepping forward triggered something. I am... I feel bad for that. <laughs> Hide from sight. Already inside. I'm already outside, I mean. Charles Commodore, we're in position. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. Am I going to spy on their meeting or something? Infiltrate the fort. Kill guards while hanging from a ledge. Well, first of all, I want these guys out of my way. Right over there. <laughs> what did he? Oh, he jumped down. Okay. Trading fort. This might not be the right way, though. <clears throat>
promise and declare that in case any of the said pirates shall on or before the 5th of September, in the year of our Lord 1718, surrender him or themselves to any one of the principal secretaries of state in Great Britain or Ireland, or to any governor or deputy governor of any of our plantations beyond the sea, every such pirate and pirate so surrendering him or themselves, as aforesaid, shall have our gracious pardon of and for such his or their piracy or piracies. By him or them committed before the 5th of January next ensuing. And we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, and other officers at sea. And all our governors and commanders of any forts, castles, or other places in our plantations. And all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take charge of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. You then! Hey! Get out of that strap! I'm not in here. What are you talking about? You! Hey! Get out of that strap! Shut up. Bastard inside, boys. Seriously, is he going to ring the bell? I don't think he's going to ring it. Ah, oh, there's the bell. It's right over there. I may as well do one of the things, even though I can't do all of them. I didn't end up doing the uh, the ledge thing, so that was annoying. I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. Or until such time, we're right behind the door. All of you will be confined in Nassau. I am sorry for this, but in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home, accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace. Commodore Chamberlain, we are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. Wait, where'd I go? God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what oh, dignity we piss. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobbin. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you forecastle headed fuddlers, see you at the gallows. You'll all be dead men! Bastards! I need a drink. Of course you do. Oh, I hid in here. 
Nice. Maybe. I need to go to the general store quickly. Because I wasted a lot of ammo. Uh, over here. Fast travel not available. What? Why? Fine, I'll just run there then. Why isn't it available? It's fast travel. I'm not in a mission. That's just weird. Hello, mate. I got some money for you. Gotta make sure I I don't use these as much as I did before. Because if I do, well, then I run out of them faster, and I want to be able to make them last a few missions. It's much to my mind. It's like three berserk darts per mission if I have to, or I can use all fifteen if it gets desperate. But I doubt I will. Okay, so let's go to the tavern. The gunpowder plot. Look at him. Turn cult. Makes me bloody ill to think on how many times I've put up with horny gold and his self-righteous shite. Verily, you are a man of principle, Captain Hornigold. A man I believe I can trust with my best ideas. Faith and we'll survive this, Charles, with our pride intact. Well, that's confidence. You brewed a plan I might get a taste of. NASA is over, that's plain to see. I say we skip out tonight and regroup at my compound. Fair enough, what's your angle? The Brits have brought their supplies ashore, see? If we nick some gunpowder and pine pitch, we can build a fire ship and send it straight at the blockade, blasting it to smithereens. Aye. We'll use Rackham's ship. And a capable captain. My conscience is clear. Right. When you get the gunpowder, I'll secure the pine pitch. We're on a mission. Gunpowder time. So they're going to be in restricted areas, of course. Hey! You come back in! I'll turn you off! <laughs> That was not how that was meant to go down. You. Got it, we got one of them. I just need to use blur pops, blur pipes on guards. Okay, which one's the closest? I think it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, bless me, sorry. There's a guard up there, but I'm not sure he's doing much. need to take out the guy that's up here. There is a guy up here, right? I can see him. Boomba. Not gonna jump down there. <laughs> Find the key to the warehouse. I don't care about the warehouse. Hey guys, I'm bored. Can I have some fun. Oh, he's the key holder. Nice. May as well loot the warehouse then. Hey, mate. I need a partner. 
You got a guy right down there. Can you kill him? I got a good line on him. Boom, boom. Damn, have fun. That was a little dangerous, that one, I admit that. But I think I did well. If you leave the area, the warehouse will be emptied. Oh, right, I was going to do the warehouse. Whoops. I don't know how I forgot. Time to have some fun. Hey, brutes. You. Oh hell! Need to get out of there. Bastards yeah. in me sight. Oh hell! Need to get out of there. In sight. You guys are going crazy. There you go. Alright, where's the next mission? We're out of here. Oh, can I seriously not fast travel anymore? Are you kidding me? Wow, that's that's funny. I'm guessing they're stopping fast travel because we're not allowed to leave Nassau. Nassau. Because of the line thing. So, they haven't just stopped fast travel in all the other areas. They've stopped it everywhere. Which is bloody annoying. Commodore 86. Come on, boys, you're lagging. It's this bloody hand. Lieutenant. Aye, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor, tonight. It's about the Governor's wishes, sir. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Is that clear? Aye, sir. The conniving bastard. Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bark those orders. You think so? We're dead in the water otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the King's men. We can't risk our good fortune. I'll be waiting for you. All right, we have to kill the Commodore. A man that's like right to the King or something. Why don't we just kill them now? Why are we tailing them? I swear this game is just making me tail people for the sake of it. Yes, you just saw things, that's all. Sir, we have information for the Commodore, an urgent matter. Carry on. Lots of sour blood between them two, Rogers and Chamberlain. What's the issue? The Commodore don't think much of civilians, I reckon. And there's a rumor going around that Rogers is some kind of Jacobite, or worse, that he's a Catholic. Oh, I couldn't think of worse. Gather those two men there. Come and bleed. 
yeah, 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 yeah. I need to stay in contact with them. So, oh, let's make this fast. Got him in my eyes, don't worry. Oh, reduce distance. I need to hurry, guys. Guys, my eager vision? I thought I did. It's sworn I did. Okay, now I'm good. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, I admit I was going pretty well then. I was going pretty well and not getting detected somehow. I don't know how. But they somehow detected me. Kill guards from stalking zones. Dum 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 dum. That was an accident. I'm just gonna desynchronize. I don't care. I really don't. Ah, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't have a mega vision. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. Yes, come over here. Let me kill you. Reduce distance, but it's not like we can try to stay away from the guards so they don't notice me. So if you get too far away, they stop being eagle vision. That's annoying, but I can deal with it. Kill Commodore Cham Chamberlain. Who? Commodore. Do I know him? Is this the guy who wants to take down Nassau? I forgot who he is. Maybe I haven't met him before. Probably have though. <sighs> what? 
damn it, Edward. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Guy. At least I don't think so. Whoops. I didn't I didn't want to do that. What the hell, Edward? Are you Oh my god, now I need to climb back up. Edward can be such a fucking bitch sometimes. Stop See? There. Now people are going to notice me. I don't care anymore. That is complete stupidity. Edward should not have jumped off that. There was clearly a pole thing he could have landed on if he just done that. That's stupid. Oh, of course they're still noticing me. Look, I don't care about you, I don't care about anyone on this ship. Has given us a pardon, oh. Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? A syphilis clouded your mind. Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant. You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? If not for that heathen, Governor Rogers, I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. Mission complete, finally. Oh, and I did assassinate him. Nice.